Welcome back to another video guys. In this one we'll be measuring the blood pressure and the ECG on the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic using this um, blood pressure machine here with the cuff. So we're going to set it up and then um, we'll see how close the watch is at, to the actual machine itself. Alright, first of all, let's do the blood pressure. Right, it says blood pressure, measure your blood pressure on your watch, learn more. It says follow the instructions in Samsung Health Monitor to collaborate your watch. So open phone app. So let's do that now. This should open up on the... Alright, so we open up the Health app. As you can see it says welcome to Samsung Health Monitor. We press accept. Choose your wrist that your watch is on. Mine's on my left. Go to next. Right, this one was for when I did it on my watch free, it looks like. So let's collaborate this watch. It says you need a valid blood pressure monitor. You'll uh, you follow instructions within the phone app. Take free measurements on your blood pressure cuff. You need to wear your watch during this time so it can be calibrated. Let's go to next. Just telling you what you should know. Do not change medications. Avoid caffeine, alcohol. Do not use if you're pregnant. Do not use if you have these medical conditions. And you're going to it will probably tell you medical what medical conditions. Let's just get started. Make sure it's snug on your wrist. Yeah, it's pretty snug on my wrist. Fit blood pressure monitor cuff on the arm opposite your watch. All right, so we're gonna fit it now. Right, so we've um, fit the cuff to my arm, as you can see. It's a bit loose, let's just tighten it up. Right, we've got it, it says fit blood pressure monitor cuff on the arm, opposite the watch. So we've done that. Start your blood pressure monitor now. Watch measurements is in progress. Sit still and relax. Right, it says enter the reading from blood pressure monitor on the phone. So we've got this here. It says is the reading displayed on your monitor? Yes, enter now. The systolic is one four two and that's ninety. What's it done? Confirm. So that's the first measurement complete. It says keep the watch and cuff on, follow the instructions on the next screens to continue the collaboration process. So let's press next. Make sure the watch is on your wrist and the cuff's on the opposite arm. Yep. Start blood pressure. Right, now it says collaboration finish. Now you can take your blood pressure measurement on your watch. We're the watch on the same wrist as one well during the collaboration. Okay, let's have a look. 
let's take this, let's take this off. In fact, let's leave it on. We'll check it on the watch, then we check it on this. Okay. That's okay. Tap. So it's confess. Let's check. Okay, not too bad. Obviously, it's not the same to be used as the replacement of a medical device, but um, it's pretty close. So that was how to set up the um, blood pressure. So what we do now, we'll do the ECG. Let's just take this off quickly. All right, ECG. Make sure it's snug on your wrist. Keep saying. The wrist finger lightly on the top button. See, that was an email. Okay, so that's how you check for the ECG. The app never looks for signs of a heart attack. If you think you're having a medical emergency, contact emergency services, obviously. And it just shows your heart rate. Let's add. I put it down as. I will leave that. Let's go back. Guys, right now this is the back button. It used to be up here, but the back button's here now. So obviously they swapped it around. That was just a quick video to show you how um, to take the blood pressure measurements and the ECG and how to collaborate it. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.